I'm going to recreate the best scene from the Five Nights at Freddy trailer here at Brookhaven. And to do that, you'll have to build a Freddy's pizzeria, put decorations, animatronics, and everything else you need to make Brookhaven as close as possible to the FNAF trailer. So if you like Five Nights at Freddy's as much as I do, like this video and subscribe to the channel in less than three seconds. Three, two, one, let's start the video. But so that we can recreate the Five Nights at Freddy's pizzeria, I need to get some references here on my computer. So I'm going to come here on YouTube and search for Five Nights at Freddy's. And as you can see, the two options that appear to us are the trailer and the teaser. One of the most interesting scenes in this teaser is when Mike turns on all the lights in the restaurant and shows us what the new FNAF pizzeria looks like. Luckily, I found the exact same restaurant here inside the Roblox studio, so I'm going to put it exactly where I left it empty on purpose for our pizzeria. Let's fix him here under the floor and put it right here where the parking lot is. Okay. Apparently the restaurant is ready, but entering the restaurant you can see that there is nothing inside. So that means we're going to have to renovate this whole place to transform this empty pizzeria at that pizzeria in the trailer. The first change I'm going to make here in our restaurant will be the walls. As you can see, I even excluded the ceiling and some walls because the restaurant was too ugly. The wall we are going to use will be this one, which is exactly like the FNAF games and possibly the same as the restaurant in the trailer. Let's just include Increase this wall a little and put it exactly here, okay? As you can see, she's the right size. But we need to make this wall bigger. But the problem is that if I increase the size of the wall, it gets all weird and bizarre. So I'll have to duplicate this wall and put its replicas side by side so we can have a cool wall. This here is actually quite fun and satisfying to do. The first wall is ready. Now it's just a matter of doing this with the other two walls. So I'm going to select this wall, duplicate it, and place it exactly in the places we need to modify. Now just erase this wall. And ready! Now this pizzeria is much more like Freddy's original pizzeria. Okay. Now it's time to lay the floor and I'm going to use this checkerboard floor that I found here. The only problem is that this floor has the same problem as the walls. If we increase the size of the floor, it will be all stretched out. So we will have to duplicate the floor several times until we cover the entire pizzeria floor. Okay. Now that this part of the floor is ready, we can select all the floors we used to be able to duplicate everything together and continue completing the pizzeria floor. We're going to repeat this procedure until the floor is perfect. After a long time building, this is how Freddy's Pizzeria turned out. Now going back to analyzing the trailer, we need to place several important things like tables and decorations, the iconic security room, and the ball pit that pays homage to a story from the FNAF book called Into the Pit. I'll start by building the stage, which I think is the easiest thing to do at the moment. I just need to increase the stage size a little bit because it's too small to fit animatronics. I'm also going to put these tables here that are exactly the same as the tables in the FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. Let's just arrange the tables to be a nice size and closer to the stage where most kids will probably want to be so they can see the animatronics up close. Now I put one more table here and now we double the tables to have lots of places for lots of kids to have birthday parties, that sort of thing. This number of tables is enough. Okay, now I'm going to put the iconic security guard's room on which is exactly the same. Look how cool this is. And we need to place the security room in a location that looks and feels like the original game. I'm going to place it exactly in this location. I'm going to increase the size of it a little and make a corridor on that side. And okay, this corridor here is already very similar to the corridor where Bonnie comes from. But it's only now that I realize that I need to put another aisle on that side. So I'll have to move these tables from this place and put them closer to the stage so as not to disturb us. Now let's place a corridor exactly in that location. Okay, now just put another wall on this side here. As you can see, I put here the two corridors equal to FNAF 1. On the left side comes Bonnie and on the right side comes Chica. Now it's time to place our animatronics here in the restaurant. Let's put the animatronics exactly as it is in the games. Freddy in the middle, Bonnie on the left side of the stage and Chica on the right side of the stage. Now we can increase the size of the three a little bit because they are much smaller than normal. And look, this scene was exactly like the games and the FNAF movie. In this room that was formed between the two corridors of the security room, I'm going to do the parts and service. 
which is where the broken parts of the animatronics are. I know these aren't exactly animatronic parts, but I think they will help decorate our room. I'm going to put a table here, exactly like the table in parts and services in the FNAF one. And I'm going to put the animatronic heads right here. Slightly increase the size of these heads and place stuffed animals scattered in various random spots in the room. I'm also going to put an animatronic endoskeleton here to serve as a spare part, you know? And I'm also going to put Freddy Fazbear and Spring Bonnie here, which already comes as a bonus with Willie and Afton inside the costume holding a knife. Spring Bonnie is staying here, and you'll understand why. I'm going to put one of Willie and Afton's victims here. Exactly, a little kid all doused in ketchup, if you know what I mean. And as you already know, parts and services are hidden places. That's why I put this wall here, and I need to make some adjustments to make this wall as natural as possible. Look, it is very difficult to know that there is a room behind this wall. Shoot! I forgot to put the child spirit here inside the room. Because as you may know, William Afton does not forgive his victims. Of course, I can't forget about the pirate code. And I'm going to put it exactly there. Yes, I know that it would be more faithful if I put the pirate cove in this place. But I prefer to put it on the right side because there is more space. So it will be cooler. And look. In the Pirate Cove, we already have Foxy in here, which makes our life easier in terms of not having to look for another animatronic to put in the pizzeria. To help the decoration, I'm going to put some neon lights that were common decorations in the 80s. I'm going to put a little plaque here on top of the stage to indicate that the animatronic show has already started. I'm also going to put some posters around these walls, just like in the original game. I'm also going to put the posters of the characters spread all over this wall. And now the only thing thing that really remains for us to build is the roof. So I'm going to use that piece of floor to build a roof for our restaurant. Let's reduce the size of this block a little. Flatten it. And now just move this piece over our restaurant. Shoot! It was missing to put a roof on these two pieces. We're going to have to make some custom pieces of ceiling to make our fine restaurant perfect. Now we're going to do this scene from into to the pit. So we need a ball pit. I'm going to put the girl and the ball pit right here. Now we rotate this from here and put them both exactly in this corner because that's the only place we have to put a ball pit. Let's reduce the size of the two a little. And now I need to put this girl in the pool. I'll just leave her head sticking out so it looks like she's diving between the balls. Now I'm going to put this Bonnie exactly in this place since he already has an eye similar to the one in the movie, right? I'm going to increase its size just a little bit. And that's it. This scene was exactly the same as the trailer. Another cool scene that we can try to recreate is precisely the one where Freddy is inside the taxi. And to recreate this scene, we need to place a taxi similar to the one that appeared in the trailer. Let's increase the size of it a little since Freddy needs a bigger car so he can enter. Let's position Freddy here inside this car. I just need to fix the position of our animatronic. I'm going to use the same girl here that we used in the ball pit. I'm going to put the girl next to Freddy in the taxi. Now I'll put the taxi driver. And since I didn't find anyone who looked like the man in the trailer, I'm going to put him here inside the car. The taxi scene is ready. And now I'm going to put Brookhaven in the 6 p.m. time slot so the sky gets all darker and scarier. Okay, as you can see, I'm already here inside Brookhaven so we can test out our new five nights at Freddy's restaurant. Okay, I can already see that something is not working as it should. The Bonnie that we put to attack the girl in the ball pool is trying to catch us at any cost. Is there any way I can get into the restaurant without getting caught by Bonnie? No! I really will have to take severe measures. Okay, I banned Bonnie completely from our map so that we can explore the pizzeria without any problems. Okay, as you can see, this one is to represent the scene from Into the Pit, where the girl is hiding from the animatronics, and I think that considering how crazy Bonnie was, I think this scene was very faithful. Another thing that really turned out really cool was the decoration of the pizzeria, which honestly turned out much better than I imagined. As you can see, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chico were perfect on this stage, and I hope they don't attack us now, because if I'm not mistaken, they already have children's spirits inside them, so we better watch out for them. On that side is Pirate Cove, which is where Foxy is. Can I get in here? Oh, unfortunately, I can't. But at least it turned out really cool. The Foxy that's in here is the same as the one in FNAF 1. He has all deteriorated and with hardware and wires coming out of his carcass. Very cool! Another thing that I thought was really cool here was the overall decor of our restaurant. As you can see, the posters match this location a lot, 
Even the neon lights were cool here. I also put some machines here for the kids to play with, like those to catch stuffed animals which are really cool but very difficult to get a prize. On the side of the stage, I put two arcades, one from Freddy's Arcade and one from Foxy, in addition to this neon flower, just so the wall wouldn't be empty. On the other side, I also put Bonnie's Arcade, which I had forgotten to show you. And look, this arcade is much bigger than the others. I can almost get inside the screen. Wait, what? There are hands through the parts and services wall. I think this is not normal. With our drone, I can come in here and see that William Afton is crazy behind me. He really wants to get out of this little room to get me but luckily he is not able to wow afton destroying freddy do bear this guy is pretty crazy i think it's better to get away from him maybe he can escape here for some reason right okay i came here to the security room because i want to see if the door and light buttons really work and as you can see the security room is exactly the same as the fnaf one with everything extremely faithful and even with door and light buttons let's see if it works okay the function shouldn't exactly be the right word seeing as the door closes halfway and if i can pass under the door smoothly Surely other people and animatronics will be able to do the same. At least the light button works the way it should. So this room isn't that bad, is it? Leaving the pizzeria you can see the taxi that we put in to represent that funny scene from the FNAF trailer. But as you can see something terrible has happened here. All that's left is the head of the little girl we put here. What did you do Freddy? You are crazy? But ignoring the fact that it's a macabre and haunted place. I quite like the end result. It was very similar to the pizzerias in the game and the one in the movie as well. And guys, unfortunately, this video is over. But there's another super cool video for you to watch on the screen. Thank you so much to everyone who watched the video until the end. See you in the next video. Bye!